It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Denver Broncos and the Buffalo Bills on Monday Night Primetime. Well, there is a brand new stadium starting to take shape just across the way. But for now, the action is here at Highmark Stadium in Buffalo, New York. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup, as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, here in Buffalo, they love their Bills, and for good reason. Their guys, without question, one of the favorites to lift the Lombardi Trophy in Vegas come February. And you mentioned with good reason, because we know their quarterback is one of the best players in the league, but this is an overall team built to win, especially when we get into the playoffs. Offense, defense, coaching staff, they've been knocking on the door for a while. They want to find their way through and get to the Super Bowl. And then for our visitors, the Broncos, 5-12 and 12 was their record last year. One of the bigger underperforming teams in the league. Injuries to guys like Javante Williams certainly hurt. But what do you think they need to do, Charles, to turn it around? They need to build a more cohesive offensive line. They've struggled in that spot for the last couple of seasons. And a defense that's often very good has to tackle better in the open field. And we are underway in Buffalo. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Well, the Broncos offense gets set to go to work. And at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. They go play action now. Wilson. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. I will see more than trying to get him to put on into the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Now a second and ten. Now the third-year man back and healthy. It's Javante Williams. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Third play here on this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. From the shotgun, Wilson out quickly to Judy. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. On the return, Hardy. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great. Another 13-win season last year, and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at about the 32. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. It's complete to Cook. Down to the 10. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. James Cook, 68 yards. And the Bills put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. 
Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. The drive starts with a completion, left side. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Hey, let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Now it's Wilson. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. They'll give him four yards there, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. They go play action with Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So for this defense, a tall order ahead trying to defend against Russell Wilson. Charles, your keys for how they might go about keeping him in check? Well, before we even get to the keys, let's start with the problems he presents because he feels pressure so well. He's got a great sixth sense, maybe even a seventh and eighth. He knows where the pressure's coming from. He knows how to slide away from it, sometimes run away from it, and then he finds good throwing lanes to deliver downfield. So to me, it's that pressure inside, big, tall guys to make him try and throw over them and make his height work against him. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Play action. It's Wilson. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. 
And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. As they go to work on a first and goal. Wilson now off the bootleg. And this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Broncos are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Lux with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. On first down, Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Joe, a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 45-yard line. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Now Allen throwing on second down. Finds his rookie tight end, Dalton Kincaid. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So first and 10 now from the 30. On play action, Allen. This to the tight end, Kim King. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Allen looks to throw on second down. Completes it to Davis. So five yards here, five on the play. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Allen to throw once more. And that is incomplete. Good work by that Bronco defense, and it leads to a fourth down. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. 
So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills have taken the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. Last drive, surgeon-like, dare I say, seven for seven. That'll help your QB rating. <laughs> it will indeed, won't it? Can you figure out QB rating? Can you do I, it? Can no, you do the formula? No, I just know the higher the number, the better. Yeah, that's what I've been told, <laughs> too. I know. I know that in the NFL, 158.3 is the number they're all trying to get to. I think he was that on that last drive. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Second and ten. Now Wilson. That's to the rookie, Marvin Mims. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Play action. Now Wilson. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Here's Hardy set to return. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Here's Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. Seven yards there and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Getting the football to Davis on an out route. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Go. 
This is second and eight. To the air, Allen. Right back to Davis, it's complete. So the completion good for just three. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Allen again. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. Back deep for Denver, the rookie Marvin Mims. And this will be out of bounds at the one here, the 12-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Starting the third quarter with Cook. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll give to Cook on the read option. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make... Allen hit. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. 
The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They go play action now. Wilson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. But when the Renegade's not working sometimes, you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Now Wilson. sideline but he's not going to have a first down they say he was out of bounds so a big call there that brings up fourth oh that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down and that is no good and instead of tying it up they'll remain down by three Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. The Bills ready to take over. Now, this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. They start the drive with Cook. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Now an option play on second down. He'll grab three yards on the play, taking it himself for the first down. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Here's Allen on first and ten. This taken in by Kincaid. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 41, here's second and three. Allen now looks to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Allen. And he's caught. And he's going to have the Bulls first down by about a yard. It's a game of five on third. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A good pick. 
pick up there, 26 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Allen now on first down. Throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Cook. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Just power football there, down near the goal line. Give it to him, he's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Broncos. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. so we will start here at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they caught a break with that missed field goal. Instead of being tied, they now sit in the fourth quarter driver's seat, still up three. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they work this well up field across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. 
And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. From just shy of midfield, here's second down and seven. So the shotgun snap to Allen. It's caught by Davis. Now this is going to be on their first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 31-yard line. A good pick up there at 20 yards. These guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory. Down at the 31. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll be out of bounds. Able to get it down to the 25 there. His second catch. This one not quite as dynamic as his first. And it's second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back. Let him create some space. And it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he finds a man crossing round and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 his fifth catch tonight and it's good for a first down these guys are running offense like you drive the pedal is down stomp down how about that back-to-back -back completions they are rolling so much for being conservative and running that football play action now it's Allen to the end zone, but it's incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Here's second and ten. Allen running the option to the left. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Boy, the pursuit there, terrific from the linebacking core. Oh, it certainly was because so many times on an option play, you'll see a linebacker make a beeline for the quarterback and then zip, one cut, and he's grasping at air. But this time, he locked in on him the whole way, took an excellent angle, and his grasp came up with the quarterback. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll try the middle with Cook. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. The kick by Bass is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And on a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here is Wilson and the Broncos. Down 20 to 14, a minute 52 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. This secondary is a unit. They worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, 
a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Throwing now is Wilson. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. I like what they did there. Still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. to throw. Able to find Mims. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about, and you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Here's Wilson. And that's caught by Williams. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big gain. This Buffalo crowd letting him have it. Third down now. They'll look to throw. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They'll come up first and ten here. He's back to throw. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense have other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's second down. He'll look to throw. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Back to throw. Finding Williams on the check down. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one, got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. It may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. One last shot for Wilson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, 
We see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late, and they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened. It knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com.